That's one of the differences with conventional machine learning right. and that those you're training on specific responses. Yeah. So when we think about training those to deal with like English, like yeah. an English prompt, right. it's not going to be able to deal with the vari variability that yeah. an LLM can deal with or a right. GPT or the new diffusion models because yeah. those are very good at figuring out a lot of the weirdness of language, whether it's English or other languages. Mm -hmm. You can ask the question in different ways and still get a response. Whereas if I'm using conventional machine learning, I've got to train it on each of those variations of the response because yes. it's not good at making that approximate. It can't make that approximation because it's right. it's deterministic. Yeah, I mean, if you think about the, again, it comes down to the use case. If you have a predictable input and yeah. predictable scenarios, use the traditional ones. But if you have uh, more of an unpredictability, use the LLM kind of thing. Again, throwing the LLM, you need to know the risk and prepare for the guardrails and safety nets around it to make it a really useful system.